Okay, this video is going to cover tying a uh, free end to a loop. What happens is you have to tie the free end to a loop when you're doing a continuous suture, say on the fascia or on the uh, C-section hysterotomy, and now you've traveled so far you can't tie the uh, free end to the tail. So what happens is you leave a loop here, kind of like this, and a free end like this. You're going to be tying the two together. Okay. Try to remember the concept in the video covered earlier that the bigger the knot, the uh, harder it is to cinch down. So that concept comes, becomes very important when you're tying with a loop because you want to avoid tying a surgeon's knot with a loop because the uh, loop already makes the uh, overhand knot loose and the surgeon's knot would only make it looser. So you try to do uh, just regular overhand knots when you do your square knots. So um, first thing, so that's the first thing. The second thing is you always want to tie with the free end. So that means passing the single strand through the loop and not the loop. See, this would be tying with the loop, and I'll show you the difference. So when you tie with the single strand, like so, cinch down, you have one strand under the knot. Okay, so you only have one string in the knot, which is better than if we tied with the loop. If we tie with the loop, what happens is it looks like this. We pass the loop under. And now we have two strands coming through the knot, which makes it a looser knot. Okay, so when you can try to remember to tie with the free end. So number one, try to avoid surgeon's knots with a loop. Number two, always tie with the free end, which is this one. Keep the loop here. The third thing, which is important to remember, again, one strand under the knot, is you've got to cinch down on both ends. So in this case, it would be cinching down here, and cinching down here. Okay, you gotta cinch down both sides to find out where the actual knot is. So, um, what you, one way to help cinch it down is for your loop, you keep it around your middle finger. Let me tighten this out, pull some slack out so you can see what I'm doing. Keep the loop around your middle finger, and that keeps you free to pass over and under the uh, free strands for the tying. So, keep your th middle finger here. We'll do an index finger throw, come across, cinch down, one, two, one, two, okay? And then now we're on the thumb, so same thing, pass the free hand under, cross your hands, again, one, two, one, two, okay? And that's how to tie with a loop. As you can see, that knot is a lot more busy than the other knots.